Hi, this is Glenn McKenzie for WatchMojo.com, and today we're here at TriStar, one of the top places to train mixed martial arts in North America. It's home to such top fighters as uh, George Rush St. Pierre and David the Corolla Wazo, and today we'll be interviewing one of the top rising stars, Jonathan the Road Warrior Goulet. First off, congratulations on your big win at the Montreal, one of the largest uh, UFC events ever. How does it feel to win in front of your home crowd like that? That was amazing, you know. I, my hometown crowd uh, always gave me some energy to, to, uh, to survive, you know, like I survived uh, during the first round. It's all about the crowd and the fam, you know, they're all cheering for me and they give, and they give me power. So how did you get into mixed martial arts? Like, what's the whole story behind it? Everybody's got kind of, were you young when you got started into it? Uh, did you get beat up or something and you want to run into it? Like, what happened? Uh, I was working in a bar as a monster and, uh, uh, you know, uh, I got uh, beat by four guys, you know, in, the, during my war. I never practiced any martial arts before that moment, and uh, we were able able to uh, to see some uh, mixed martial art uh, on TV, and we saw, you know, in the, the description uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and I saw some guys, you know, wearing a, a T-shirt with a, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu vitamin on it. So, you know. I asked them where they found this and you know I started to train with him, with them and that's it you know I, that was my first time uh, I think it was in 2000. So when you're doing your training what kind of like is a typical week for you? I'm training twice a day and six days a week. I'm doing wrestling, jiu-jitsu, uh, I'm doing uh, Muay Thai with Olivier. I have a training, uh, weight coach and you know I spend tons of time you know in conditioning and in sparring, in uh, pad works and everything you know. On the reverse of that how do you spend your downtime? Like, what, what do you like to do? Do you like to you know just go chill out? You go to a bar? You just hang out? You know? Uh, I'm not the kind of guy who is, is going to uh, to bars and you know chilling with people. I have a girlfriend and I have my, my little daughter, so I, I'm spending time with them. You're a pretty big guy, and you fight at 170, which is the welterweight division. You probably um, walk around it. I, I don't know. Right now, you know, I, I, I took care about you know my weight, but uh, I, I, normally I'll, I'm walking at 196, so you know that's uh, that's really hard to uh, follow a diet. And I can't right now. I can't accept a fight, you know, at uh, you know a short notice fight. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I have too much weight to lose. So what, what does it feel like to knock out somebody? Like for those who don't know, I mean, you know, what's what's the feeling that goes through your mind? Do you feel sorry for him afterwards, or is it like jubilation? No, 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 or you know? we uh, we are uh, you know we are proud of ourselves. Yeah, that's a, a really good feeling to feel. Uh, I'm going to be able to knock some somebody out uh, with my hands. My feet and my knee. So, <laughs> as long as it's not me, it's all good, man. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna keep my hands up during the oh. interview if it's a. Uh... No, I'm not. A, I'm not a you know a bad guy. Uh, no, no. Every day, so you know, I, what, as soon as I as I enter, you know, in the in the ring or in the octagon, uh, you know, I, I'm a big guy. Uh, yeah. You know, in, there's a. You gotta flip the switch, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. And watch out for those kicks. Keep your hands up. <laughs> Star way. <laughs> <laughs>